whenever I should sing mm. a song. Uh, always. Do you have a capo at hand? Nice. Right? That thing will work. I gotta get one of, I gotta get one of them's. I'm Hugh Christopher Brown. We're talking from the post office on Wolf Island, which is my studio here that I've um, had for like the last 15 years. Coffee's up. That did it. When my sister was five and I was two, she started classical piano lessons on that piano. And I remember having to reach up to the keys to imitate what she was doing. That's where it started. What are you doing, Q-Tip? It was like, oh, these people who'd spend their lives playing music, it was fascinating to me. It's been implicit. It's music is what we play. I mean, I grew up playing classical music. I went to the choir school. Um, I grew up in Canada, I grew up in Toronto, and then uh, was on the road for the first 10 years of my professional life from the time I was 15. After that, lived in New York City for 15 years. Since I've been living here, there's been a number of artists and musicians who've, who've moved into the village. Now it's very much the epicenter of where stuff gets made. and. Consequently, a lot of my colleagues from around the world come here to record and, and make music. It's amazing how different the vibe is. Yeah, it took me a second to figure out how to get the mic on without feedback. Like New York, it's that sense of coming and goings here. Although here the birds far outnumber the humans. But it is that same sense of confluence. Like people meet here, things happen here. Wolf Island Records developed basically as an umbrella for this artist collective that, that developed. So this is the hotel. Four years ago we started something called the Garden Party, which is a celebration of culture and agriculture. So we'll put musicians on farms, we have visiting agriculturalists, we have a week of music, and the hotel has just been an extension of that. Yeah, that's what, we're serving the stuffed fish tonight with Don Perignon. <laughs> but this is the restaurant area. This is where Hebu will operate as the owl. That's what it's going to be called, the restaurant in here. It's a recording studio in multiple venue as well as a hotel. So this is the piano room because this is a great, this is a great room to play music in. And that's the fabled Steinway. And the Steinway is a 1951 Steinway B that used to belong to David Rockefeller. And the reason why it's here is because um, the David Rockefeller Fund supported uh, the prison music project I started called the Pros and Cons Program. And we build recording studios in prisons and um, the, the music gets released anonymously to support things like women's shelters, restorative justice. Touring with B.B. King it was so miraculous talking to him about how music affected his circumstance, and, and that makes a lot of sense to me. When I see the music um, have the effect that it does in the prisons, in terms of how in this very, very harsh environment and a very untrusting environment, it allows people access to themselves, it, it elucidates to me, I think, what I never even thought about or put word to. It's been an access point for me. Yeah. It's been it helped me understand my being, like my my essence, and I and hopefully improve my capacity to relate to others. You know. See you soon.